Arcania, and pretty much it's the the next game in the Gothic series. One of the things that we were working on, that we've worked on really hard is to make sure that if you're a Gothic fan, you're going to recognize the game um, because it is the next one in the series. But because Gothic hasn't been so popular in North America, we wanted to make sure that if you're not a fan or if you haven't played it before, it's an it's a you know it's fresh for you as well. So pretty much what we've done is we've got an action RPG here, um, lots and lots and lots of quests. We're looking at somewhere between 30 hours of gameplay and you know up to 50 and 80 if you're really hardcore and you have to get everything. Um, we're looking at the PC, the 360, and the PS3. So one of the cool things that we've got here, you can actually see that the, the, the lights shining through all the, uh, the trees and stuff like that, and the rain coming down. You can actually see that there is rain moving downhill because we've actually got it set up dynamically. So it's a texture that's affected by physics. What's cool about that is as you're going through the game, if it rains and you're in the right area, you're actually going to see puddles start to form on the ground and stuff. Um, so it's really, it's really sort of interesting and it never happens the same way twice. Um, something else that's cool is in the Gothic series, NPCs actually react to the time of day and everything else, um, and the weather. So what you, we've done is we're going to give you spells where you can control them. So if you don't feel like attacking someone, that was a light, nice long jump there. Obviously in the final game that would kill you, but you know, we've got E3 privileges. So uh, the deal is that uh, in the final game, you know, let's say there's that guard there and he's standing out front of his post and you don't want to see him and you don't want to fight him, you can make it rain and he might go inside. Um, so it's going to give you an option. So I'm just going to show you what happens when I turn the rain off. So I've uh, turned, the, uh, turned it off and you can actually see it drying up a little bit there. And these sort of like long streams of water are going to dry up on their own. Okay, cool. So let's actually see the, the world. So the world itself is comprised of three islands. The one that we're on right now is sort of the ma big main island, it's about 85% of the game. And pretty much the way it works is it's split into about seven different areas, and they open up almost in GTA style. So, you know, you open up, once you open up one area, then you can always go back. So it's a sandbox game. This, this area is called Tushu. It's a bit of a swamp. You can actually see the haze if you look at, out on the, uh, on the swamp water there. And if we look up, you can see where we just were. We were up in this giant tree. Uh, this is actually the mages guild in this game and you know i guess the mages have the abilities you know to mess with nature um and the other kinds of places that you're going to see you're going to see medieval castles uh towns cities all that sort of stuff um the developers actually german and one of the advantages they have is they actually know what medieval castles look like because you know they're there um and as a result you can you can, you can see everything um so each of those different areas actually have their own culture and you'll actually be able to see them in the arms and armor. So if I turn around for a second here, you can see the front of my sh shield has a very distinct pattern on it. Every area you go to is going to have very distinct patterns and things like that. Um, so for instance, you start off in a little uh, fishing village, and if you get weapons from there, they've actually got sort of fish mot motifs, almost like Celtic uh, scroll work and stuff. Um, so it's, there's a lot of attention to detail, so if you're interested in looking at that, it's there.